Well, it's the 10th month and you know what that means. That's right, today we're painting orcs. What's up denizens? I'm Jason the Hobby Viking and you're watching Den of Plastic. So recently I got my hands on the latest warband for Warhammer Underworlds, uh, Morgox Crushers. And I had this idea of Morgok coming together, uniting the tribes, um, and I wanted to paint three different uh, skin tones for these orcs. So um, this is the first in a series of four pieces. Um, I'm going to paint a blue skinned orc, red skinned orc, and a green skinned orc, and show you how I come together and do that. Uh, and the fourth part will be putting it all together uh, doing all the armor, the bases, weapons, stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get into it and um, see you on the other side. Okay, so for my blue orc today, I'm going to be using Thallo Blue, a Lemon Yellow, and a Titanium White. Now I start by mixing the, the tones I'm going to use on the palette straight up. So this is going to be basically what I'm going to be working with the whole way through. So just adding a little bit of yellow, the lemon yellow there, turns it slightly green but also brightens it um, and you, you're not losing as much uh, saturation as with just plain white. Here I am coming in with a bit of magenta, adding dark tones. So I'm going to start with adding uh, a more purple uh, tone to, to the undercoat or rather the base layer. You'll see I'm adding this all around. So. This orc is going to start basically as a, a purple orc and what this does is it just adds uh, a greater visual interest to the uh, to the darker areas in the model so you'll see some shadows will still keep the the purple tones and then later on that that'll play against the lighter brighter sort of warmer colors of the yellow that is added to the blue. So here we go, just, just creating, a, covering the whole orc in that uh, purple tone. Making sure I get into all the recesses. Like I said before, we'll be coming back in another video later on uh, and doing all of the armor and stuff. But for now, we're just doing the skin colors. I don't use any washes for this orc, so any of the darker areas where you might normally put a wash is just going to be this base layered color. Here I am coming in with the dark blue now, just to create that deep tone of the, the orc skin. The work I do here on the face is pretty much replicated throughout the whole uh, skin areas of the orc. So here I am coming in with a lighter tone, just gradually uh, building up the highlights, leaving some parts of that darker blue in the deeper areas. This is just 
just going to increase the illusion of form. I want the focus to be on the face, so it's going to be the brightest out of all the things on the model. And then uh, there's a little bit of his sort of bicep area that I will add a bit of color into as well. Uh, so this is just going to be drawing your eye into the area. Now like any 2D painting, creating uh, brighter highlights, you, your eye is going to be drawn there. So cool colors recede and go into the background and this is where your shadows tend to be that more cooler color. And as you come into a highlight, you, you want to warm that area up a little. That's why I'm using the yellow and your eye will be more drawn to it and that creates a, a greater depth in, in the illusion of um, creating form here. You can see here uh, this color I'm bringing in on, on the lips and stuff it's got that little bit of yellow in it so you can see it's sort of turning a little bit more green than just adding a pure white to it. You can see the brightness of the orc's head there, it's, it's really starting to, to show up and come forth, really standing out. more yellow into the mix, maybe a bit of white as well. Just gradually working up those highlights, slowly reducing the amount of area that I'm covering with it so that there's still some of those base layered colors underneath. note when I'm coming in and painting like that I'm resting my fingers on top of my thumb to kind of create a bit more support it gives me more control over the paintbrush whenever that painting hand comes in I'm always resting it on something else I'll give you more control over it you won't be as shaky and messy
Now I come in with some glaze medium and that's just mixing a bit of uh, glaze medium into my colors there trying to create a, a smoother blend in between those blue layers. I find blue is uh, quite a difficult color to blend um, in, in smooth transition and so if you come in with a sort of 50-50 mix of your, your higher color and your lower color meet in the middle and just brush over the top of that adding a bit of glaze medium sometimes helps um, and, and that'll smooth it out a bit more having that full gradient of paint already set out on my palette also helps you can sort of mix and match and sort of jump either side of, of the color that you want and uh, build it up gradually there we have it pretty much uh, the face is done I come in and paint the eyes and stuff later on um, and now I'll just pretty much skip around the model quite quickly um, don't want to bore you but pretty much using just what I did there on the face with the rest of the body as the form turns towards the light I use more and more highlight layers um, and on the deeper parts I, I leave it the more darker blue See there, I've already done the feet. And just coming in with more highlights. So it's pretty much just rinse and repeat. Just keep going over that same process. Building up the highlights as you go. You've already got your paint laid out on the palette. So you don't have to do much mixing. So it's a, a pretty quick process. And there you go, the York is complete and uh, ready for the next stage. There you have it guys, that's my take on uh, Blue Skinned Orc. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you know when my next video is coming out. Until next time, take care.